Now today we are going to discuss a question on integration. The question is if i of n is given as integration from 0 to pi 1 minus cos nx upon 1 minus cos of x and where n is a positive integer or 0 then we have to find i8, i9 and i10 are in AP, GP, HP. Now the question is three part question that two more parts are there we have to prove that is the second part is we have to prove that is i of n is equal to n pi and the third part is this integration we have to prove using this given i of n. Let's start with the first part. Now from the given question, I have to find the relationship between three consecutive terms of i, that is i8, i9 and i10. So let's say I'm finding the relationship between here, i of n plus 2, i of n plus 1 and i of n. So I'm going to consider these three terms and I'm going to find the relationship between them. Once I get the relation, I'm going to put n is equal to 8 here, simply. So I'm going to start with i of n plus 2 here, minus i of n plus 1. And why I'm doing this, I'll tell you later on. So first I'm going to integrate this and find the difference. So that is integration of, you'll get 0 to pi. You'll get this as cos of n plus 1 into x minus cos of n plus 2 into x. Whole divided by, I think, 1 minus cos of x. I can take common from both of them. Now this will be in equal to integration 0 to pi. Here 1 and 1 will cancel out in this term. So I'm going to apply cos c minus cos d, that is 2 sine c plus d by 2. So c plus d by 2 will be n plus 3 by 2 to x multiplied by, I can write this as sine of x by 2 here. So formula is sine d minus c here. Similarly, divide by, here I'm going to open cos of x in the direction of sine of x by 2. So this will be equal to 2 sine square x by 2 here. Now here 2 and 2 will cancel out sine x by 2 and sine x by 2 will cancel out remaining is these two terms. Similarly, I'm going to consider one more integral that is, I'm going to consider here i of, you can say, i of n plus 1 minus i of n here. And I'm going to tell you what I'm doing right now, why I'm subtracting these two. So, let's integrate this 0 to pi, we'll get this as cos of nx minus cos of n plus 1 x whole divided by 1 minus cos of x here. Now, this will be equal to integration 0 to pi cos c minus cos d is 2 cos c minus d 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin d minus c by 2 we will get 2 sin c plus d by 2 I think it will be equal to here we will get this as n plus I think half x multiplied by sin d minus c will be x by 2 whole divided by we will get this as 2 sin square x by 2 here so I think here 2 and 2 again will cancel out sin x by 2 and 1 sin x by 2 will cancel out now let's say this is our first equation and let's say this is our second equation. Now I'm going to subtract first from second like this 1 minus 2. So resulting outcome will be here. I think I'll get this as i of n plus 2 minus 2 times of i of n plus 1 and then plus i of n will get on the left hand side. On the right hand side I'm going to write the integral that is integration from 0 to pi. I'll get this as a uh, sine of n plus 3 by 2 into x minus sine of n plus half into x whole divided by we'll get this as sine of x by 2 and d of x. Now I'll get this I'm going to solve this in the next slide. Now I'm going to simplify this integration that is integration 0 to pi. I'm going to apply sine c minus sine d formula that is 2 sine c minus d by 2 so I think we'll get this as x by 2 here and multiplied by cos of c plus d by 2. So the ones you're going to add and divide, you'll get this as n plus 1 into x whole divided by, you'll get this as sine of x by 2 here. So I think here sine of x by 2 and sine of x by 2 will cancel out. The integration will be, here you'll get integration of cos is sine. So we'll get 2 sine n plus 1 into x divided by n plus 1 here. Now here the lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi. Now when you put pi here sine of any integral multiple is 0 so upper limit is 0 and when you put 0 here sine of 0 will be 0 so this integration value is 0 here so I got from here I got this as i of n plus 2 minus 2 times of i of n plus 1 plus i of n is equal to 0 so from here I can say i of n plus i of n plus 2 will be equal to 2 times of i of n plus 1 then that means i of n, i of n plus 1, i of n plus 2, they are in AP. So answer for this question is, this they are in AP. 
let's move on to the next part now the next part is i have to prove i of n is equal to n pi here so i'm going to start with i of 0 so whenever we see n on the right hand side we have to substitute n as 0 here so we'll get this as integration 0 to pi in denominator we have 1 minus cos of x numerator the moment you put n is equal to 0 cos of 0 will be equal to 1 so we'll get 1 minus 1 d of x here so i think this will be equal to 0 here similarly i of 1 now i'm going to substitute n is equal to 1 here so we'll get 1 minus cos of x upon 1 minus cos of x so this will be equal to difference of limit because these two will cancel out and give you one answer is pi here now as i mentioned earlier that is i naught i1 i2 and so on till i of n they are in ap if they are in ap then difference of consecutive terms is common difference so let's calculate the common difference so here the common difference will be i1 minus i naught so i1 minus i naught is clearly visible it's pi now if you want to write the nth term of the ap i'm going to write this as i naught you can say i naught plus this is n plus one the term because we are starting with i naught so we'll get n into the common difference so i of n will be equal to zero plus n times and the common difference is pi here so from here i can say i of n is equal to n pi so hence prove now let's move on to the next part now moving on to the last part which we have to prove that is integration from 0 to pi by 2 sine square n theta upon sine square theta we have to prove it is equal to n pi by 2 now i'm going to use our integral that is i of n we have proved this is equal to n pi earlier in the last part now i'm going to start with this integral only this integration is integration 0 to pi by 2 now i'm going to try to make this integral in the direction of 1 minus cos of nx upon 1 minus cos of x so in order to do that i'm going to convert sine square theta in the terms of cos to theta that is i'm going to write this as 1 minus cos of 2 and theta divided by 2 whole divided by 1 minus cos of 2 theta divided by 2 here and d theta so i think here 2 and 2 will cancel out i'll get this integration as integration 0 to pi by 2 1 minus cos of 2 and theta divided by 1 minus cos of 2 theta so i think now it's in the same form but not exactly same form so here i'm going to take a substitution that is 2 theta is equal to x here so the moment i take this differential d theta will be equal to dx by 2 here so let's uh, apply the substitution here we'll get this as 1 by 2 integration lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be twice of pi by 2 that is pi and we'll get this as 1 minus cos of nx whole divided by 1 minus cos of x d of x now previously i proved that the, this is i of n this integral is equal to i of n and we got here i of n divided by 2 and i of n value we know that is n pi n divided by 2 so hence prove that this integral is equal to n pi by 2 and that'll be all.